Hi friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki, here to share with you some small office organizing tips. So let's get started. So for my new subscribers, we are at my business office. If you don't know, I'm a professional organizer and here in Charleston, South Carolina area. And here is where I run that business. And one thing I wanted to share with you is how in one of the office, which is, is a smaller space, how you can maximize the space. And this can work for you, whether you're working from home and you have a small space, or if you work outside of the home and you just have a small office in the business office. And so one thing, my first tip is is think about the desk using a writing desk versus a traditional desk because this can save space writing desks tend to be smaller and compact and if you have that role where you're mostly digital you use your laptop most of the times you don't need a lot of writing space or you don't have multiple monitors this can be a perfect solution now if you need more space i recommend still sticking with a writing desk but get two of them and you can make them l-shaped it still can be more compact than a traditional desk but it will give you more space space, more writing space or more space for monitors. Another thing is the shelving. You'll see here that I have an inexpensive wall mounted shelves here, open shelving that really serves a lot of roles. And I'm going to take you through that. But what's wonderful about this is I'm maximizing that vertical space, that wall space, and they're not that deep, but they're deep enough. And it really is a lot of function in one space that's not taking up floor room. So one, I want to take you through and show you the different types of things that you can utilize this whole unit for, for your office. So friends, one is your inbox. So because you have all of this wonderful real estate now, you can sit your inbox here. And because it's right behind you, if you position your desk that way, it's easy to reach over and get things as you need them, but you don't have to take up that valuable real estate on your desk and, your, and it enables you to kind of maintain a smaller desk area. This area can also serve as your supply cabinet where you keep your supplies. The key to it is for this to be aesthetically pleasing along with a lot of function. And so you wanna display those supplies that are beautiful. Um, and I like, you know, I really love buying kind of uniform supplies that really are in that gold and silver and white. And so it makes it easy. And also storage boxes. These are huge because you can use them for files, you can use them for supplies, you can use them to store paper. They're really great. But if you have supplies that are not the prettiest, but you need them, the function, utilize drawers in wonderful, wonderful, wonderful tools that they have are these box drawers that are perfect for a shelving unit like this. And I will link as many of this stuff below or something similar as I can in the description box. Now, we all have projects, of course, don't we? And so clipboards are a great way to manage your projects. And then they are also easily able to be stored here on a shelving unit such as this. You can have all your projects on one clipboard and then get a holder such as this that I got from Target. And I'll try to link this below also because I think they still sell this to manage holding all of your projects. And that way, whenever you're working on a project, you can just reach back here, grab the clipboard that relates to that specific project, go to your desk and you kind of have um, a system for keeping that. Another thing are your resource binders. The key again is to keep everything uniform, having them in the same color binder, which usually is a pretty easy thing to do. And of course, having a space for those mailing items, those envelopes and stamps and things like that. So it really can serve as not only mail room, the supply room, and even your filing system. And so it's really a budget-friendly way to maximize space in a small office to give you all of those things you need. And friends, it doesn't have to look cluttered. You know, we're housing a lot of things here, but it doesn't have to feel like it's cluttered because you can conceal some of the things that feel like clutter in the boxes so that you can still easily access them. But overall, I have a theme here. It's white, it's silver, it's gold, and I keep it at that. And that really makes it easy on the eye. I have a lot of things going on here, but when you look in here, it doesn't feel overwhelming because it's very minimal in the tones that I'm using that are visual. So friends, if you are not subscribed to the At Work With Nikki channel, definitely take a moment and click that subscribe button before we continue because I would love to have you as a part of the family. 
So friends, overall, if you decide to go with a system like this to really maximize your small office, then keeping things very minimal in the color tones, and I would kind of limit myself. I would have one color that I use and then maybe one or two metals. So if you're using white as your base color, then I would incorporate gold and silver. But if say you're using purple, then I would just incorporate maybe silver accents. And that will kind of help keep things looking very streamlined and keep it from looking overwhelming. Now, another thing that is important in a small office is bringing life to the office. And how can we bring life? We can bring it in our plants. And so I would recommend, even with a small desk, having a plant on your desk. And you'll notice even in this space here, I have a, a plant in the background also. So they're diagonal each other. And I find that when I do that, it really gives a good feel to a space. So if you put a plant on one side of the room, then put another plant diagonal on the other side of the room. And for some reason, I always feel like this brings a nice symmetry to a small space. Another thing is a lamp, putting a lamp on the desk. You do have to be mindful with the lamps though, especially if you're using a writer style desk, because you don't want to consume a lot of space. You've already put the plant on one side, and you put the lamp on the other. So you want one that really is not going to consume a lot of the space. And why a lamp and a plant is so important is because it brings the warmth and ambiance that's needed to a space. So whether big or large, bringing that is very important because especially if you work in a small space, you know, hour after hour, then you start to feel like things are kind of coming in on you. So this can really help the whole vibe of your environment and really make it a refreshing space. So I'm always encouraging in those small spaces to have that green life in there along with having the appropriate lighting. Another thing in a small space is I would encourage you not to put your copier and heavy equipment on the desk because that is a distraction, especially in a small office. I would utilize that file cabinet or some type of cabinet in another area of the space such as the little carts that you see on the market now. They're great to make a copier station. You know, you just don't want to kind of clutter that small desk with heavy equipment. So I would kind of refrain from that. And friends, I have always found keeping those walls white really helps a space feel larger. Even if you incorporate color within the space, so say your organizers are green or yellow or purple or whatever, if you have those white walls, it really can still make a small office feel a lot larger. So friends, I hope that these tips that I shared with you today could be helpful. Also, leave me a comment. Let me know, do you have a small space and you want more tips, I can definitely bring more videos like this click that like button to let me know and definitely check the description box because I will link as many of the things that I share today even the shelving components if you want to put something like that together I'll try to um, kind of give you a, sh a shopping list of things that you would need to put that together so definitely look at the description box so friends I hope you are doing great I will see you at tomorrow's video and this is Nikki saying goodbye